<laughs> well, welcome back to Black Girl Stuff. Thomas Q. Jones was kind enough to stay with us for a BGS investigation yes. and to today's relationship standards. Now, Thomas, do you feel like black love is in a state of emergency? And if so, why? Um, what happened? I, I don't think black love's in a state of emergency. I think a lot of um, what's going on on social media is, you know, gaslighting and, you know, um, I see black couples all the time that are in love. I see more black couples that are together than, than aren't together. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, I don't, I don't know all the statistics, but um, I do think the world of social media makes things a lot more dire than they really are. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's something a lot of people don't take in consideration. When, uh, when they're talking about these type of topics. So if you want black love, but you want it with a millionaire, mm -hmm. do you agree with what Shay Pram Pramis I is saying? I, I don't, if you want black love, but you want it with a millionaire, then you, you, you don't truly want black love. Mm -hmm. To me, okay. you want a black man with money okay. or a black woman with money. Mm -hmm. That's not black love. Black love is being equally yoked, supporting each other, providing for each other, um, understanding how important family structure is and having both parents in the home, um, raising your children, right. and, and helping add to our community. With That's black love. the same morals and qualities. Because well, a lot of men are just doing situation. It seems like men aren't looking for the gold of marriage these days. They're like looking for experiences. That's what it seems like Generation Z is doing. Back in right. the day, we wanted to get married. We was told that, you know, look for that white horse carriage, all that. But like now, I think it's like, Oh, she looks good. I want to experience that. Having a situation where someone isn't contributing to my life, they're just there as a prop, it right. doesn't fulfill me. It doesn't, it doesn't mm -hmm. do anything for me. It's, it's, it's you know, I, I may as well have, go buy another car. So, outside of the timelines, is there anything specifically you look for or men seem to look for when it comes to wanting someone that's in a situ just wanting to stay in a right. situation or wanting to move out of it? Because I've been mm -hmm. in a ton of situation and I'm like, where can I exit? Right, <laughs> right, right. How do I yeah. elevate? How do I elevate? Right, right. right. <laughs> well, I think all you can do is be true to yourself um, and be honest. Mm -hmm. If you want to move in a certain direction with this person, you have to let the person know that. I think sometimes pride gets in the way of honesty and then that that waste that 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 is part of you wasting your time with the person because yeah. mm -hmm. you weren't honest, you know. And and for men, a lot of times we don't even realize that we're moving from a situationship to a relationship because mm. we're just gradually and naturally evolving because that person is making us better. evolve yeah. and naturally making you better. It's that's like that. that's what it is. It's a partnership. So yeah. I think you know, love is isn't as simple as people make make it. You know, um, I just really believe in letting things happen and being as honest as possible. And a lot of times, you know, <laughs> you know, men get a lot of uh, the wrath for not being honest, but sometimes men might not know how to be honest depending on who their significant other is. Because sometimes men feel a little intimidated to be honest with women because we don't want to necessarily tell them what they don't want to hear or hurt their feelings. No, so that's I want you to tell me. No, before so we, before get we jump it. that too, though, I want to make sure that we touch on social media one more time because right. you mentioned that there are a lot of characters that are out there that are potentially portraying experiences based on their own experiences, right? right. We know the late Kevin Samuels is one that really talked a lot about high value men and what they expect and what they want. Even though he has passed, I feel like his legacy lives on. I feel like I, every now and then we have people talking about the, the, the types of things, whether you see it as good or bad, right. that he talked about. Do right. you believe the same? Is there a difference in what a high value man might want versus, let's say, the average man? And if there is, what are those differences? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what the differences are. At the end of the day, I think most men just want peace. They want peace. They want um, to feel loved. They want to feel listened to, appreciated. Mm -hmm. I think that's what all men want at, at, at some point in a relationship. Do you think you, know? you can get that from a high value woman? When you put value, value isn't the money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just okay. the money, the money's just the money. The value is the person mm -hmm. and okay. what they bring to your life. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where the disconnect is. The disconnect is the person and the value they bring versus the bank account and the, uh, and the value that brings. High earning versus high well, value. value. Mm -hmm. That's different. it. Yeah. It's yes, high agree. earning, high value. Those are two totally different situations. Mm -hmm. And you can't mix the two, because if you do, you're, you're destined 
for failure in relationships. Well, there are yes. a lot of women out there that are seeking high-earning men. And I need you, we talking about being honest, I need you to keep it a buck with me. Because I go back and <laughs> forth with my homegirls all the time about if you are searching for a high-earning man, do you feel like you should be open to or accept that you have to share that high-earning man with multiple women? Well, it depends on what they want out of that relationship. Yeah. If you want a high-earning man, then you're not looking for love. Okay. Right. Why so, not so well, 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 I'm not saying you don't want love, but I'm saying if you're putting high earning the, top on the list, right? If that's the first thing over the actual person and how he makes you feel, then to me personally, I don't think you're truly looking for love. You're no, looking that's a good for point. you're looking for what can be provided for you. And if that's the case, and then that's the situation, then more more than likely than not, that man doesn't value you the same way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which leads to him being open to other options because he's feeling like this isn't real anyway. Okay. You so know? when you think about That's what's real, when you're dating or when black men are dating, how do y'all evaluate a woman's emotional intelligence? Or if she's ready, do you be like, oh, she crazy? Like, how do you know? <laughs> what are the signs to yeah. say, like, she's emotionally intelligent enough to date me and or ready to date anybody? And if that's even yeah. important. You know, in regards to women being um, emotionally intelligent, I think, you know, it's it's gauging her her honesty you know gauging how she communicates if she says what she really means or if she expects you to understand without her telling you god tweeted this and i was like black men what do y'all feel like y'all need from black women right now whatever it is i want to know what you think the, the answer to your question is actually listening yeah okay. not not listening for what you want to hear but listening for what I actually said. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, because if you're listening for what you want to hear, then you may as well not ask me. Selective yeah. hearing. Right, because you're still going to treat me the same way. Mm -hmm. You scanning you know? for your pieces that match your idea in your head or the scenario you already got in your head when you should be listening to hear and understand. Right. This was amazing. I feel like we started this knowing or feeling like we just misunderstood men. So you really clarified it, and you clarify it so much more on Johnson. Thank you again for stopping by the BGS house. You can catch all new episodes of Johnson on Bounce TV, airing every Sunday at 8 p.m. Plus, catch him on P-Valley, still streaming on Stars.